Generate Contours in CAD Hello everybody. Welcome to video tutorial on creating contour map within your CAD package. Contours can be generated either from a point data available in Excel or CSV file or from the drawing file directly. In this video, you will learn how to generate the contour in CAD drawing file. In one of the next videos, it is explained how to generate contours with point data available in Excel or CSV. You will open the sample drawing file which has elevations and a boundary. Before generating the contours, we need to set contour generation preferences. This can be done by selecting Contour Setting option of Contour Sub-Item in eSurvey CAD menu. In Contour Settings window, we can specify parameters like Contour Interval, Grid Spacing, Boundary Generation Factor. For this example, let us set 0.5 as Contour Interval. We will specify major lines for every 2 meters. Select Smooth Contours from Contour Lines group. We will specify 5 meter as Grid Interval and Grid Line Spacing in Grid and Elevation Lines group. Since we will be selecting the boundary for contour generation, we will not make any changes to Scanning Radius in Contour Calculation group. We will select Contour, Grid, Grid Elevations in the Output Layer group. We will save these settings by clicking on Apply button. In the next step, we will select Generate Contours menu item. Now, the software will ask for selecting elevation text. We will select all the levels in the drawing and then we will select the boundary when application prompts for the same. Now, we can see that application has generated contour, contour annotations, grid, grid elevation, grid annotation all in a single command. Generating contours using eSurvey CAD is that simple. It is a good practice to define the boundary and select the same when creating the contours. In this sample, we have a boundary along with elevations. Software can automatically create the boundary in case boundary is not available. If you specify the approximate maximum distance between the points you have captured, which is termed as scanning radius in the software, the software will automatically create a boundary. After triangulating the data, software will remove all the triangles having side lengths more than the specified values and create boundary by considering the remaining triangles. Now, in same sample, we will delete the boundary and generate contours without boundary. In this case, software is creating imaginary boundary using data depending on scanning radius specified in settings. We can also generate contours with multiple boundaries, islands, break lines, etc. You can create a couple of boundaries in this sample data. When contour generation command asks for boundary, select all the boundaries you have created. The software will automatically leave out islands and create the contours. Note that contour module can generate contours based on break lines which is explained in one of the following videos. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to draw a profile on the contour surface using eSurvey CAD. 